safe to say that was one that got away from us, is it? You're probably right, Nigel, I, it, it probably was one that got away, you know, we did create chances in the game, uh, we have to be learn to be a wee bit more clinical in front of goal, you know, because we did create quite a few quite a few chances, especially more in the second half than we did in the first, but, you know, we did start very well inside the first 10 minutes, we was probably our two best chances in the game, uh, but another night, maybe one of them goes in, it's a different game, Uh Second half, we came out in the game. We tried to play on the front foot. We had a lot of corners. We had a lot of free kicks. We had a lot of good delivery into the box, and we just couldn't get in the end of it. You know, and when we did get in the end of it, we just couldn't hit the target. You know, we had a few opportunities from 10, 10 11 yards out, and you've got to hit the target from that. And, and we didn't. You know, and we have a few headers from five or six yards out, and again we didn't hit the target. So, from that from that side of the game, it's been very frustrating that you know we've been unable to take the chances that that we did create this evening. The big positive is it, it, it's another clean sheet, so it's our second clean sheet in a row. Uh, so after conceding the goals we had conceded in the previous four games, it, it's nice to, to get back to you know keeping the back door closed. But we have to do more in the final third in the fact that we have to be more clinical. Yeah, I suppose at the end of the day as well, there was a width of a post away twice, wasn't it? So, <laughs> so I, you know, it, it falls to Noah, you know, on his left foot. You know, if it's ran flood, you, you, yeah. you probably see it nestling into the bottom corner, you know. Tonight was one of those nights when the chances came. They sort of fell to the wrong people in the wrong place. Yeah. You know that, that that's that's not making excuses. That that that's fact. When when you look at the game back, you know the boys in there are hugely disappointed because they actually thought that you know they deserved the three points. You know and you know yeah. and and in saying that we could have lost it in the ninety third minute. You know yeah. Tim makes a, a a wonderful save. You know and uh, for him to still be alert after having very little to do all evening. Uh, is testament to him, but no luck here. We're disappointed that we were only able to take the chances, but look, it's another point after the win last week, and now we dust ourselves down for Monday away to Galway. Yeah, as you say, it doesn't get any, uh, doesn't get any harder, or doesn't get any, doesn't get any easier. <laughs> You're right, it definitely gets harder. No, look, it'll be a difficult test. It will, you know. Uh, obviously, Galway drawn tonight, one each as well, so they'll be looking at a response from their players. You know, Galway and Waterford have been the two standout teams. In the, in the first division this year, you know they've. You know, look at Waterford again tonight. They've, they've scored another seven tonight, so we're not the only team that they've put to the sword. So they've been the two standout teams. So it's going to be obviously a difficult task, but at least we're going there with a bit of confidence in the fact that we've been keeping clean sheets, and it's another game that we have to to go and be positive and see if we can get something from the game.